So let's talk about therapy. Therapy? Therapy. That's in vogue now. Everybody is going to therapy, it seems. Do people still say in vogue? What do the young people say? Is I, therapy I'm on fleek? fleek? <laughs> anyway, for years, I never considered going to therapy. I never went to therapy. What about you? You went to conversion therapy. I thought my parents would, would conversion accept therapy. us. Conversion yeah. therapy. Anyway. Growing up, I suffered from depression. Still do. It's a lifelong struggle. It's because you live in Michigan. And, well... Yeah, we've got to get the f out of Michigan as soon as possible. San Jose. And Do you know the way? And uh, social anxiety. I also have social anxiety. It affects me because I don't like talking to people such as therapists or anyone really. Including me because we don't like talking in general. Except Rich says he likes hearing the sound of my voice and I'm like, no, I don't like the sound of my voice. If you could just like record a podcast and play it when I'm going to sleep, then you could just shut up. Okay, I will record 60 minutes of nun stories for you. On top of the social anxiety, I have a sense of low self-esteem. I don't have low self-esteem. I have low esteem of others. That was my Daria joke. You're breaking my neck. You're sitting on my neck. You're standing on my neck. <laughs> <laughs> and then on top of that all, you know, growing up, I had to deal with internalized homophobia and racism, you know, from, from my parents' Xenophobia. Whack ass Republican parents. You said it, not me. My mom put this fear into me that if, if I go to therapy, it will go on my permanent record. That's not even a real thing. When I when I picture this, it's like some kind of, you know, internalized database of, of medical conditions. So, you know, insurance companies can exclude you from certain things. And I do believe Do you that. think that the insurance companies communicate to each other? Do you think that doctors communicate to each other? Do you think that the system works like that? Doctors in America, don't communicate with patients. Doesn't. And then, like I said before in my coming out video, check it out up here in the corner here. Don't quote me on this, but I, I believe my mother also said that people who go to therapy, you know, they're put in this big database and then they can't get a gun. I'm pretty sure all you have to do is walk into f***ing Walmart and be like, I want a gun. That's And then they'll be scary. like, here. I don't want a gun, okay? I never okay. want a gun. I, I, don't, I don't care if you have a gun. I don't care if other people, if they're of sound mind, have a gun. Can I get a gun? Whatever. I don't care. I don't care. You know, just as long as, you know, you don't, like, constantly brag about it and, like, showcase it to, to other people. Leave it on the table when people come over. Oh, my God. I don't care if people are sound mind, if they're of sound mind, if they have a gun. But I don't ever want one. I don't feel like I need it to protect myself. I can... I'll die, but... <laughs> yeah, you ain't got no... But the way to protect yourself. I don't want a gun. I don't need a gun. Okay? I just don't. Okay, okay. But that's, I didn't know it was such a that's why I never subject. went to therapy. But um, tell me, growing up, you know, about your thoughts, what, what were you raised to believe about therapy? My parents and I didn't talk about anything ever, so I do not know. What is it that you needed to work through? <sighs> well, we moved here when I was eight to Michigan, and it's a hole. And, like, my mom, like, abandoned me to be with, like, her brothers and sisters or whatever. And then, like... Because you grew up in Oklahoma and things were fine there, Things right? were fine there. And then things went to here. And then, like, I never had any friends because people are dicks. And then, like, the school counselors told me that I was lazy because I didn't do my homework. Because I felt that it was below me because it was so f***ing easy. The classes. The and then they would, for the American education system. They would always accuse me of cheating because I would always get like 100% on my exams. And they'd be like, you never did your homework. No, I didn't. Like, start teaching something relevant. What was that going? You were talking about what led to you going to therapy. Oh my god. And then at Smart, the company which will not be named, two of my bosses were narcissistic sociopaths. Not Mary. Mary was okay. Hi, Mary. Hi, Mary. And then I had a breakdown on Facebook. And then I was like, I need to see a therapist. So then I went to see a therapist. But I started going to therapy shortly after Rich did. It was like when I said that you have to go to the dentist and then I'll go to the dentist. It's not like that because you never went to the dentist after that. I'm afraid they're going to be like... I've been like, going for two years. So I stopped They're going to tell me that I have British teeth and I'm going to be embarrassed. And then I'm going to have they, to go back to therapy. They, went, they want your money, so they're not going to say that. They're going to tell me that I have British teeth and I need to come in once a week. Once a week. Yeah, they made you get your teeth cleaned twice. Because I had waited seven years. Anyway. I've waited at least like 12 years. That's a huge digression. So I started going in 2017, shortly after Rich. And one of the first things Rich said, because he was being really sweet and kind. 
I want okay. So is that I should get a a, a fancy book like he got? It's for a therapy. tool disc bound notebook. They're really f***ing nice. I didn't think Jason was gonna keep it because I wanted a third one. So anyway, when I went to therapy, I got this this book to write down all my notes in, and and the very first session, I had uh, a full page of, of notes to talk about. Yeah. And obviously that went on over various sessions because you can't talk about all that in an hour. No. And then I'd write down, I'd start writing down um, afterward everything that we talked about so I could look back on that as well. You know, that really helped me to be able to, you know, so I can go back and look at those notes and, um, you know, remember some of the insights that we had. But as time went on, I had fewer and fewer notes to write down until the last session when going into the session, I had a full page, but it ended up being just me providing updates and what's going on in my life. And so that's how we had kind of, of come to realize that that the therapy had run its course. It's not it, it's not a cure-all, mind you. It's I'm not gonna be, ever be completely cured of my depression, but you know, therapy is meant to be something that, that runs its course. It doesn't go on forever. And then you come back to it as you need to. And I feel like therapy really helped to provide me with the tools I need to realize why I, th go ahead. Like positivity. And becoming a freelancer. I am not a positive person, in case you can't tell, but I, I now am able to step back and think about things and and start looking at the positives. So I think, you know, oh wow, I'm being really negative. I just need to step back from this. It also helped to get rid of the, the stigma that I felt about going to therapy. I think society feels like people who go to therapy are weak. Society is a bunch of And, you know, if, if you go, well, yeah. If you go to therapy, you have some kind of, of deficiency. And then once I did go to therapy, I, I came to realize that, you know, all of these things society have been saying were wrong. And that, you know, therapy, like I said, everybody is going to therapy, is actually a good thing. Also, Katie Morton has, she's a therapist and she makes Facebook, YouTube videos, some kind of videos on the internets and about therapy and she has a video called five signs you need therapy and you should watch it if you think you might need therapy or if you don't think you might need watch therapy you might be a narcissistic sociopath and think that your doesn't stink in which case you need double therapy but you're dumb and you're not gonna go and then you're just gonna guys at the gym sounds like something you should talk about who me in therapy i've talked to <laughs> oh my god i spilled some tea at and that's a good segue into Therapy is also an ongoing thing. It's like I said, it's not a cure-all. Mm -hmm. And I realize that at some point in the future, you know, if I'm dealing with something, I probably will need to go back to therapy and that's okay. Yes. It's not a weakness, it's, it can only help. So what have, what have your experiences been regarding therapy? What were you raised to believe? And if you're comfortable about it, tell us a little bit about your experience with therapy. Yes, please do. So thanks as always for watching, we really appreciate it. Please like, subscribe, comment, and hit that notification bell. And lead us out. Bye. Bye. And if you just keep singing louder, then I'm not going to speak, right? Because that's what you think in your head. That's how it works. I started going. What is wrong with you? And I said, Republicans. Oh, Let's back that bus up. Beep.